Okay, let's do a question for water storage sizing. So what we have here is we want to size a water storage reservoir and the end goal is to find the maximum daily demand. So we're going to focus on strictly the maximum daily demand. So we have a water storage reservoir is to be designed for an average sized town that has a current population of 2050 people. So the population is assumed to grow exponentially at a rate of 1.5% per year. The per capita water usage is 85 liter per capita per day. So the per capita per person, capita think of it per person, water usage is 85 liter per capita per day. And this is the average value. So this is the average demand. And the demand peak factor is 1.8. So we can think of the peak factor as a safety factor that we apply when we want to find the maximum daily demand. That's 1.8. So for a design period of 10 years, the maximum daily demand in liter per day is most nearly what? So let's begin by writing what we're given. So the first thing we are given is P0. It's going to be this value. So I'm going to denote this as P0. You'll see why we do that when we use the equation for population projection. So it's 2,050 people. This is at present, the population for this town. So the population is growing exponentially. So we know in the handbook under the population growth equation, specifically it says population modeling, population projection equations. On that, on, in that section, under the environmental engineering section specifically, we are going to look at the log growth or exponential growth, which equals to geometric growth these all mean the same thing so that's the equation we're going to use so we need p naught and we have the k value k value is defined as the growth rate so k in this case is 1.5 percent and we can convert this to decimal form because when we use the equation we have to have it in decimal form so we divide by 100 so you just move the decimals two to the left so it's going to be 0 0.0150 so that's the k value what else we are told that the usage the demand presently this is the average demand is going to be the 85 liter per capita per day and the demand peak factor is 1.8 so i'm gonna just write peak factor you can think of this as a safety factor we have to apply is 1.8 and we have a design period of 10 years and the design period on note as n 10 years okay and we want to find let's state what we want to find here we want to find the q peak or q max it's the flow rate essentially because it's demand is liter per day it's a flow rate right so q peak this is the same as Q max and we want units of what liter per day that's the end goal there so now let's begin with the solution and we know the process will involve first is we know we're working with a future population that's what we're designing for for a design period of 10 years so let's first find the population after 10 years based on this exponential growth projection method so let's find that we know the equation is in the handbook for exponential growth pt p sub p sub t equals p naught we take the e value exponential exponential lowercase e and we take k delta t this is in the handbook so pt after 10 years the population we take the initial population is going to be the 2050 we take the x exponential and we take the k value 0 0.015 be careful don't plug in the 1.5 percent 0 0.015 and we multiply by the change in time from 0 to 10 years right that's the change in time so it's going to be 10 minus 0 so it will be just 10 that's 10 there so now we can solve for p sub t and for that we get about 2381.76 and this is 
I round up to 2382, I'm going to call it capita or persons. So that's the population in the future after 10 years based on this growth method. So now we have the population and now let's write the equation for determining the Q max, the peak demand. And that's what we want to find, the maximum daily demand. It's not the average, it's the maximum that can happen in one day, in any one day. So in 24 hours basically. So let's find that and the equation we will use, we will say that Q max will obviously depend on that peak factor. So the peak factor is what we apply first for the peak or the maximum demand. Then we multiply by the average demand, which we know we're given. Then we multiply by the population, PT, right, in the future. So we can solve for Q max. So the peak factor is 1.8, this is given. The average demand is the demand we're given to be 85 liter per capita per day. So the units look good, right? Liter per capita per day. And then we multiply by P sub T and that will be this, this population in the future. So 2,382 capita. So now you can cancel the capita, they're across each other. We have the correct units, liter per day. So Q max is going to be about 3,346, and it's going to be liter per day. So this should be our answer. So that's the maximum demand at peak. So the maximum peak demand daily. So we know that's the answer and we would pick essentially which one? It will be D. So that's the correct answer and we just solved the question. So one thing I, I wanna state is that we just ma found the maximum daily flow rate and we know we can also look at the corresponding volume. So the corresponding volume will depend on some percentage of the maximum daily demand. So it's the volume to supply the peak demand. And typically what I've seen in water resources books, the one I, I've used for school, is about 25% of the maximum daily demand. So on the FE this might be stated, but for the volume peak, let's assume we have 25% of the maximum daily demand is going to be used for the volume at peak. So assuming 25%, which is what I've seen in textbooks, the volume at peak is going to equal to essentially this 25%, which is 0.25, times our Q max, which is what we just found. So we take 0 0.25 times the Q max, so it's 364, 446 liter per day. So the volume at peak and here, I know this is liter per day, let me just make sure this is clear. It's per 24 hours, so we have to multiply by one day. So the days would cancel, so we only have liters at the end. So P, uh, let me do the math there. So 0 0.25, we take 3, 6, 4, 4, 4, 6, and we multiply by 1. So we, we should get about nine ninety one thousand and we have one 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 point five. So this is the volume at peak, the volume we need at peak. Once again, this essentially depends on this value of percentage. 
and this should be stated to us so it's going to be the peak demand can be taken as in this case 25 percent of the maximum daily demand so that's the peak demand and typically when we're looking let's say at a surface reservoir we have to design for the total volume we need it's always going to be the peak demand the volume we need for fire and the volume we need for emergency so i'll just state this final equation just so you can know the final volume that we designed for we take the volume peak which is something we found it depended on q max right then we take the volume for fire then we take the volume for emergency and that will make up the total volume so we know this this fire and emergency depends on the district and the design criteria in the specific city but we know let's say for emergency in the textbook usually this can be taken as the average it's the average daily demand so all we do for the emergency is take the population which is the population we have 2382 and multiply by the later per capita per day which is in this case 85 the average right this is the average so that's the emergency for fire what we have to do is look at the flow rate of the fire flow rate let's say we have one that's 38,000 liter per minute and the amount that must be maintained for a certain period let's say if 10 hours or whatever it may be so then we take the flow rate we also have to consider the time then we can determine the volume needed for fire so just know the total volume depends on the peak the volume for fire and the volume for emergency but in this specific question we just found the maximum demand so our answer is d that's it thank you